Coming up next is a talk from Hong Ming Lai and Zheng Quan Li. The title of the talk is Efficient Support of PVM Scan Op on Risk V Vector Extension. Hong Ming is a graduate student at the Department of Computer Science at National Tsinghua University, Taiwan. His research interests are in compiler optimization on risk v processor with SIMD computation and AI compiler optimization. Professor Zhang Quan Li is a professor at Department of Computer Science at National Tsinghua University, Taiwan. He leads a research team for the effort to develop AI compiler for risk v processor with SIMD computations. He has been a frequent presenter at TVN conference since its inception. He has given talk every year. So thank you, Professor Zhang, for keeping the community alive and showing an interest in TVM. So now let's start the talk. Hello everyone, I'm Hong Min Lai from Department of Computer Science, National Tsinghua University, Taiwan. This is a joint work with my advisor, Professor Zheng Kun Li. Today I'm going to talk about efficient support of TVN scan OP on RISC-V vector extension. Our prior work are related to supporting TVN on RISC-V extension. The works include optimization with TVN hybrid OP, support for fixed point type, and the development of auto-tuners for fixed point and SIMD operation. These works enable efficient deep learning inference on RISC-V-based embedded system and DSPs. In this work, we focus on utilizing RISC-V vector extension, or RVV. The vector register length is RVV is implementation defined, which is supported by its vector length agnostic programming model. The program running on it can automatically scale across different implementations. RVV is also capable of grouping multiple registers together to form a longer vector register that is useful for highly parallel workloads. The scan operator in TVM is an operator that performs computation along a specific axis. Here is an example of using scan to compute cumulative sum. The bottleneck of scan is that we cannot schedule the first iteration dimension of it since it depends on results from previous time step. In the diagram, we can see that the computation on t-axis has dependency on previous iterations. This dependency forces the sequential execution along t-axis, which causes severe performance bottleneck when the input sequence is very long. Research has shown that scan operation can be parallelized when the binary operator is associated. The work from Bellock suggests some method to model complex linear recurrence pattern to an associated binary operator. The symbolic tensor update rule on the right-hand side shows a parallelizable linear recurrence update rule and a non-parallelizable update rule due to its non-linear recurrence. Scan operation is useful for expressing recurrent computing, which is a typical pattern in RNNs. To utilize parallel scan in model, developers need to create model with linear recurrence. For example, typical LSTN cell cannot use parallel scan because the recurrence part is nonlinear, which means that the computation of each time step has nonlinear dependency on the result from previous time steps. The GILR layer on the right is a layer of the variant of LSTM cell, which separates the nonlinear T from the recurrence. Here is another example of RN layer that has linear recurrence. It separates the nonlinearity from the recurrence, allowing it to accelerate it by parallel scan. In order to deal with long sequence workloads, AI researchers create models that separate the nonlinearity from the recurrence to utilize parallel scan. We implemented our support of the parallel scan on TVN with the external tensor function. The key component of our implementation is a C module that computes the parallel scan using RVV intrinsic API. We register this function to an external tensor expression. Then we wrap it to the accumulated sum operator in the relay layer. We evaluate our implementation by compiling LLVM module with TVN runtime, and we execute it on RISC-V simulator spike to get the instruction count. Here is the detail of our RVV implementation for the parallel scan. We use strip mining technique to handle arbitrary input length, 
and we utilize the vSlideUp instruction in RVV to compute prefix sum within the vector register. The result of the last element is propagated to the next strip mining iteration. Here is the experiment result of our support of scan with RVV. For 32-bit on sign integer, we can achieve up to 20 times speed up comparing to the default schedule. For 8-bit on sign integer, we can achieve up to 70 times speed up. Note that it is because the default schedule requires 100 times of iterations than the RVV version. The speed up is highly scalable with respect to the number of elements that can fit inside a vector register. To summary this talk, we implement parallel scan with RVV intrinsic to address bottlenecks in scan operator of TVM. We evaluate the parallel scan by measuring the instruction count on RIGS-5 simulator. Recurrent model can utilize parallel scan when the recurrent satisfies certain constraint. For the future works, we will add analysis of the symbolic tensor update rule to determine if the scan OP can be lowered to parallel scan. And we will also work on adding support of parallel scan for general linear recurrence, such as metric multiplication. Finally, we want to test the effectiveness of the parallel scan on more real-world models. That's all for my talk. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Hong Ming and Hong Quan, for sharing with us how the TVM is being used to enable this support. I have a question here. I have been curious to understand, given how multiple vector registers grouping is supported by RISC-V, do you foresee the TVM's tuning capability could be leveraged to find the best grouping for a given op in real world models? Oh, thanks for the question. For the Vector multiple grouping mechanism in RIX-5, we have done some research on the uh, register allocation part. But for our TVN scan OP support, we for now we only support the uh, using LMUL to eight on the uh, custom topi. So for now, we have not very general support of finding the best LMUL. Thank you. One more question that keeps coming at the back of my mind is that we saw an evolution from x86 to ARM, which was power efficient, and whereby we saw a lot of devices deployed with ARM, uh, low power one. Professor Zhang Quan, can you shed the foresight about how do you see the risk V? processor getting deployed in comparison to x86 arm in the future uh it, it looks like because uh sometimes you have the backward compatibility problem with the mighty code so it looks like the server side uh, might be easy for a risk of fire risk we to uh penetrate the market and uh, because the architecture is new and they don't have a lot of uh, backward compatible issues and we want a lot of uh, uh, density with the uh, instruction set. So might be um, quite be very, I think it be very competitive in the server side. Also, uh, they have the V extension with the super wall better. Um, I think uh, we can sort of widen the better and make better phones with the server. And now people like like chat GPT, all the training and the, a lot of server and chip servers. So I, I think we'll be quite competitive in that aspect. Thank you, uh, Professor, for sharing your insight here. And um, I'm looking forward for Hong Ming to see him implement parallel scan for metrics multiplication, given that it's also an associative operation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.